गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन दिस इज द सम वी विल बी डूइंग नाउ इन फ्रंट ऑफ यूर स्क्रीन कैलक्यूलेट यूर इन दिस क्वेश्चन दे वास्ट टू कैलक्यूलेट क्विक असेट फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग इंफॉर्मेशन दैट मीन्स वी आर सपोज टू कैलक्यूलेट ओनली क्विक असेट in this question and current assets are the ones which can be converted into cash easily are quick assets quick current assets so let us see plant and machinery is a tangible fixed asset goodwill is a intangible fixed asset so data is a current asset and it is quick asset also bills receivable is also current asset and it is quick asset also cash balance also is current asset and it's quick asset also but stock prepaid expense and advance for goods are non quick asset stock prepaid expense and advance for goods i have even written and given you uh, in the format also we have discussed these are non quick assets but we need to calculate only quick asset so tell me what all will come here we want quick assets so you may may say and in current assets under current assets we want quick assets Letters twenty thousand bills receivable fifty thousand cash balance fifty thousand. So how much will this come to? This is coming to the total of one lakh twenty thousand. So quick assets is equal to one lakh twenty thousand with this. this sum is done because only quick asset was asked and we have found out now let us do the next sum in front of your screen here we have to calculate working capital from the following information calculate working capital from the following information what is working capital how do we have done a full chapter on working capital so solution first of all before discussing let us write down working capital is the capital required for the day to day working of the company business so here how do we get the working capital current asset minus current liabilities we get our working capital so here plant and machinery is not a uh, current assets uh, plant and machinery what is plant and machinery it is a fixed asset it is a tangible fixed asset then because plant and machinery is in the business for a longer period of time even vehicle is there in the business for longer period of time vehicle is also a fixed asset tangible fixed asset inventory means stock it is non quick we discussed in the previous question also inventory or stock cannot be converted into cash easily so it is non quick so inventory will come in non quick current asset non quick asset goodwill intangible fixed asset it will not come trade receivable means data it will come under current asset quick asset 
then we have cash balance cash balance is also quick asset then we have creditors creditor is a quick liability it is current liability bills payable current liability in non current in non quick liability we have only bank overdraft and we cannot see bank overdraft in this question so outstanding expense is current liability short term loan is current liability because loan taken for a shorter period of time short term loan but bank loan and share capital will not come here bank loan is loan fund and share capital is shareholders fund we want only current asset and current liability because to calculate working capital what is the formula current asset minus current liabilities so here we will write a current asset current asset me quick asset what do we have quick asset me trade receivable cash balance only two we have only trade receivable 1 lakh 20000 and cash balance 1 lakh 80000 so let us write trade receivable how much is the amount of trade receivable it is 1 lakh 20000 then we have cash balance one lakh eighty thousand only this much we have under quick asset then see in the starting only plant and machinery is not a current asset because we want current asset minus current liability vehicle also is not a current asset inventory is a current asset but a non quick which we cannot convert into cash easily goodwill intangible fixed asset so trade receivable and cash balance we have written it now let us say non quick asset current asset is a two type quick and non quick so under non quick asset we have inventory it is 2 lakhs so how much is the total current asset coming to 1 lakh 20 1 lakh 80 and 2 lakh is coming to Five lakh. This is A. Now we will less B. Current liabilities. We have. current liabilities may we have quick non quick but we cannot let us see in the quick liability what we have we have creditors what is the amount 80000 then we have Bills payable then we have outstanding expenses then we have short term 
Luz. Then, non quick, liability. What do we have in non quick liabilities? That is, there is only bank overdraft, but there is no bank overdraft in this question. So it's a nil and total current liabilities. That is B. It's how much? 80 plus 1 lakh 20 plus 40 plus 60 is coming to how much? 3 lakhs. 80 plus 1 lakh 20 is 2 lakh, then 40 plus 60, 3 lakh. So, how much is the networking capital which is asked in the question? minus B that is equal to 2 lakhs. 5 minus 3 lakhs is equal to 2 lakhs. So, with, they have asked us to calculate working capital and we have already calculated the working capital current asset total of current asset here, 5 lakh minus total of current liabilities, which is networking capital or working capital, A minus B, 5 lakh minus 3 lakh, which is equal to 2 lakh. With this, this sum is also done. So now let us do the next sum in front of your screens. Calculate shareholders fund. Now shareholders fund is also known as owners fund, proprietors fund, net worth. So calculate shareholders fund from the following information. So what is given? Now what shareholders fund? Shareholders have right on what? Shareholders have right on their capital, share capital. Now, share capital is of two types, equity share capital and preference share capital. Then, other than share capital, equity shareholders have the right on the profits made by the business, that is reserves and surplus. So, we can see only one reason. No, there is other reserves also. So, first reserve, what we can see is general reserve. Then we have profit and loss account. Then we have sinking fund. Sinking fund is a special reserve, which is mostly created for redemption, repayment of debentures. So, sinking fund is there. Then when uh, the shareholders have a right on the profits of the business, to as well as if there are any losses, the shareholders are also liable for those losses. See, if the shareholders are eligible to get the profits, if the shareholders have right on the profits of the business, then they have to also bear the losses. See, the shareholders fund. में क्या आता है shareholders कैसे बनते हैं when they subscribe the share capital of the company they become the owners or the shareholders of the company now share capital is of two types equity share capital and preference share capital other than share capital shareholders also have the right on the reserves and surplus profits of the business so what profits are given general reserve Profit and loss account, sinking fund. So these are all the reserves of the business. But now the share because the shareholders are uh, have the right on the profit, they are they also have to bear the losses. They they are getting the profit, share on the profit. They are getting the right on the profits as well as they have to bear the losses also. So we, what do we do? We less the losses and fictitious assets. 
will as the losses and fictitious assets so what we have here losses me kya hai preliminary expense hai and we have discount on issue of shares so either what we will do let us start capital a share holders fund ye share holders fund ko owners fund bhi bolte hai और प्रोपराइटर्स फंड भी बोलते हैं नेटवर्थ भी बोलते हैं दीज पीपल हैव टोल्ड अस टू कैलकुलेट शेयर होल्डर्स फंड दे हैव यूज द वर्ड शेयर होल्डर्स फंड सो वी विल आल्सो यूज द सेम शेयर होल्डर्स फंड शेयर होल्डर्स फंड में आता है शेयर कैपिटल शेयर कैपिटल दो टाइप का है व्हाट इज इट इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल which is 3 lakhs and we have preference share capital which is 2 lakhs to dono ko add karenge to we get the share capital as 5 lakhs get it my point shareholders fund how shareholders fund means what does shareholders fund include shareholders kis cheezon mein shareholders ka hak hota hai shareholders have the right on their capital share capital and equity share capital is of two type equity share i mean sorry share capital is of two types equity share capital and preference share capital shareholders have the right on their capital and share capital is of two types equity share capital and preference share capital other than this what else will come here the shareholders have the right on the capital and they also get the right they also have the right on the reserves and surplus profits of the business so we have here general reserve the general reserve ka amount is 1 lakh 80000 then we also have profit and loss account profit and loss account is 1 lakh 20000 then we have sinking fund this is a special reserve which may be created for the purpose of repayment of debentures debentures ka paisa wapas karne ke liye ye wala reserve create hota hai hum yahan pe paisa save karte hain sinking fund mein and simultaneously the amount what has got accumulated in the sinking fund is invested and the returns what is available also is further saved and reinvested so what happens um this sinking fund is a special reserve just understand ki ye reserve hai aur ye kyu create hota hai debentures ko repay karne ke liye wo purpose ke liye sinking fund create hota hai to sinking fund is 2 lakh and for your information the sinking fund is invested matlab sinking fund mein jitne bhi paise hote hain wo invest hota hai और फिर रिटर्न जो आता है वो अगेन इन्वेस्ट होता है बट इतना तुम लोगों को अभी जानने का जरूरत नहीं है बिकॉज वी हैव अ पर्टिकुलर चैप्टर इन योर नेक्स्ट सेमिस्टर रिडेम्शन ऑफ दिवेंचर वेर यू विल स्टडी एवरीथिंग इन डिटेल बट नाउ इन दिस इन दिस सेमिस्टर तुम सिर्फ इतना समझो सिंकिंग फंड रिजर्व है तो रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस में आएगा so here how much 1 lakh 80000 plus 1 lakh 20000 plus 2 lakh is equal to 5 lakh to so, ko add karenge to so, total kitna hua it comes to 10 lakh but shareholders ka haq agar profits mein hai to so, losses bhi unko hi milna chahiye losses and लेस करेंगे लॉसेस एंड फिक्टिशियस असेट्स फिक्टिशियस असेट्स रेफर्स टू 
assets which are actually not assets are fictitious means imaginary or unreal so ye expenses hai but hum ise assets side mein show karte hai to usko hum fictitious asset bolte hai uska examples yahan pe dekho question mein already diya hai preliminary expenses preliminary expenses means company formation expense we have 40000 Then, जब हम शेयर्स को डिबेंचर्स को सिक्योरिटीज को डिस्काउंट में इशू करते हैं कंपनी को ये लॉस है टेन रुपीज का शेयर टेन रुपीज से कम वैल्यू में सेल किया दैट विल दैट इज फिक्टिशियस असेट सो फिक्टिशियस असेट में कितना है फिक्टिशियस असेट में टोटल इज वन लैख सो टेन लैख माइनस वन लैख हाउ मच इज द शेयर होल्डर्स फंड it is 9 lakh so this is what was asked to calculate they had asked us to calculate shareholders fund and we have calculated shareholders fund kaise mila shareholders fund a share capital equity and preference do hi type ka share capital hota hai then reserves company ka profit dono ko add kiya and losses and fictitious asset ko minus kiya we got our shareholders fund which is also referred as owners fund so with this this sum is also done and i end my lecture thank you very much everyone